Hey guys, this is the third part of our interior series and in this tutorial we are gonna be making this cool modern TV unit. So let's get started. And also if you want to download the project files, you will get it on my Gumroad page, link is in the description. So we will start off by making our TV, so let's go to Google for some references. On Google, let's search for LG 50 inch TV dimensions. For me 50 inch is fine, but if you want, you can go even higher. So let's search for 50 inch TV dimensions and in images uh, we will search for a TV which has both front view and profile view and some dimensions as well. So I guess this. Okay so I find this image which has both front view and profile view and there are even dimensions. So right click and save image as and it will save it in your computer. And then in blender let's go to add an image and do not add images as planes add in the reference so hit reference and let me just find the image that i have downloaded okay <clears throat> but now you can see that uh, the image is very tilted so press n and under rotation set everything to zero and set the x axis to 90. okay now press one to go to front view mode let me just turn on screencast ease all right so press one to go to front view mode and turn on x-ray now you can see that even turning on x-ray the image is still very opaque that is because we have to go to image properties and then check opacity and let's set that to 0.5 okay now you can see that we can see through it so let me just align it to the center of the world like this and like this okay so let's duplicate it so press shift d and then rotate it on the 90 degrees so r z 90 and press 3 to go to side view and let's just move it on the y axis and let's match the front of the tv to the z axis like this okay great now press 1 to go to front view mode again and we will start by adding in our cube so go to add mesh cube and let's just move it upwards and then let's go to edit mode and let's just match the size of the cube to our TV. So GZ and something like this. And then again GZ and like this. And then let's select these two vertices and make sure that the uh, X-ray mode is turned on or you will only select the front vertices and not the back vertices. So make sure that it's on okay then like this okay now you can see our tv is very very thick so go to side view mode by pressing 3 and we will just match it to this line of the tv and then we will model the back of it so for now let's just move it on the y-axis now and gy like this and then select these vertices gy like this okay now let's select the front face of the tv and now we will create the bezels so press i to insert and something like this okay and then let's turn off x-ray to see how much to extrude so press e to extrude and oh the image is coming our way so, let's, so you can click this button to hide the image okay so hide it and then press e to extrude and then let's again extrude it something like this okay so let's bring it back okay now let's model the back of our tv so let's select its back face and let's keep on extruding it so press e e to extrude press to scale and then again press e and scale and then again extrude scale like this but now you can see that uh, we have made the top part correctly but the bottom part is flat so a solution to that is very simple go to vertex select mode and turn on x-ray and turn on snapping so click this to turn on snapping and set the snapping to vertex so now what we are going to do is select 
these vertices and press G Z and hover your mouse to on this vertex. So now you can see that it has snapped it right here. So let's do that to the rest of them. So like this, select that. Now uh, you can see that it has not matched from the profile view, but it's okay. It's not that very important. Okay. So let's hide our images and let's see our TV. And you can see that our TV is looking very nice. And you can see this jagged edges. So right click and shade smooth by angle. And now you can see that it is looking very smooth. So here let's click this drop down and turn on cavity. Now you can see the uh, ridges and the crevices of the objects. All right. So I think we are forgetting one more thing, which is, which is this. I don't know what is it, but uh, it receives the signal from the TV. So this little thing right here. So let's just add in this loop cut and then press Control B to bevel and bevel it something like this. Okay. And then let's select the face and then press one to go to front end and let's extrude it and let's scale down on the x-axis just a little bit and let's move move this edge a little bit forward <laughs> let's turn off snapping and let's do that and shade smooth by angle again okay okay so our tv is done now let's go for our table and actually you can see that uh, if you see the measurements of our tv you, you will see that it's very very huge like three meter is something very humongous so now to give our tv the real life size measurements you can see here in the images if you hide this you can see that it is 124 centimeters on the width 72.6 centimeters on the height so if you select our cube and if you scale it down until let's first change the units to centimeters for now so uh, length centimeters okay and how much we want 72.6 okay and scale down our cube until the z value of the tv becomes 72.6 so 72.6 right okay so if you see that 124.4 124 and 72.6 72.6 so ladies and gentlemen this is the actual size of our tv so so press ctrl a to apply the scale of the tv okay now let's make our table so let's move our tv upwards and let's go to mesh so let's go to add mesh and let's add in the cube and the table we are going to make will be slightly bigger than our tv so sx and not very long because a 15 inch tv is very huge and and a table even bigger than that will fill up the whole room so uh, let's change the y length to 40 centimeters and and i guess i nailed it accidentally so uh, this is quite a good size for our tv table so let's press ctrl a to apply the scale <laughs> I nailed it in the first try. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so press Ctrl to apply the scale. Okay, now let's go to edit mode, and let's make two drawers for our TV table on the side, and in between there will be uh, shelves. So let's select the loop cut, and let's set that to two, and then press Ctrl B to bevel, and let's just bevel just a little bit. Okay, so we don't need to bevel. Let's select these faces, and press I. To insert and press I again to insert individual faces so insert them something like this so there are some thickness in between them like this so let's select these faces and press 7 to go to top view mode and turn on x-ray and let's extrude them until the very end like this okay and let's select the looker tool again Let's add in a loop cut and press Ctrl B again to bevel and bevel it like this. And let's extrude these faces inside like this. Okay. Now let's uh, make some actual drawers for 
our TV table. So let's add a cube here. Scale it down. Press one to go to front view mode, and let's just turn on shadows. So here you can see shadow, and you can see that uh, we can see the um, border of the drawer. So let's move it like this and go to front view mode, and let's let just adjust its size the size of the drawer Let, let's just do that in edit mode so select the vertices and turn on x-ray first so select these vertices turn it off and let's just move it on the x-axis something like this then again turn on x-ray select these vertices and move them like this okay so I am leaving a little bit gap there. And then let's move it inside just a little bit. And I will keep this and I will keep the drawer out a little bit. Okay. Now to make the handle, let's go to edit mode again and go to front view and add in a loop cut like this and two loop cuts like this and let's just scale them down on the x-axis like this okay and press the forward slash to isolate the object and let's just delete these top faces because the drawer is always um anyways let's continue <laughs> Um, so let's select these two vertices and let's scale them on the x-axis and then delete this face and now you can see we have created the um, handle or the groove where the where our hand will go and then let's add a solidify modifier because it's very paper sharp like this okay now let's again duplicate it so turn on snapping and shift T X and hover over this vertex okay now we can see our table coming to life but let's just make its legs so hold down shift and right click to bring the 3d cursor here and then go to add mesh and let's add in a cylinder and let's just scale it down go to front view and let's just see so I guess this much thickness Will be great okay so let's scale up on the z axis and let's move it down and let's rotate it a bit from the front view like this and let's just make it a little bit more long so press s z and z again to move on the local z axis and let's scale it okay and let's move it down again Okay, there we go. So press Ctrl A to apply the scale and then go to edit mode and select this bottom face and scale it down a little bit like this and then press Ctrl B to bevel and let's scroll to increase the segments. So I will add uh, four segments like this. Okay, good and right click and shade smooth by angle. Let's add in a mirror modifier to uh, to sort of duplicate it on the other side. So set the mirror object as our table and you can see that it has mirrored the leg on the other side and let's also do that for the y-axis okay so i think they are quite small so let's scale them a little bit like this and let's move them down a little bit okay so now let's apply the mirror modifier so click this drop down and hit apply and now you can see that if you go to edit mode these all four legs are now one single object now let's select one leg uh, which is on the back so select this face and press l to link selected and link selection means uh, it will select everything which is connected to the mesh so after pressing l go to front view and press shift d to duplicate on the x-axis and i will duplicate it something like here so it is an extra support for our tv so let's press L again and let's just press shift D to duplicate on the x-axis like this. So 
now we are done with the extra support so now let's parent everything to the legs so let's select this drawer and let's just first rename our objects so let's rename this tv tv table drawer 1 drawer 2 and these are legs so let's parent everything to the legs so press a to select all hold down shift and then select the legs and i think they have deselected it and then select the legs again and make sure that the legs are highlighted in yellow uh, which is the last selection then press ctrl p and then select object keep transform now if you move the legs you can see that everything is moving with it right and also you can see that uh, everything in our scene is very sharp so if i turn off the cavity you can see that the drawer and the tv table are super duper sharp so which is which is not very good and which also looks fake so uh, add a bevel modifier and let's increase the segments to three and let's just decrease its amount so we are going to add just a little bit bevel like this and uh, you can see it gives it very um, smooth finish so let's do the same for our drawer as well so add a bevel modifier decrease the amount and add three segments and let's do the same for this one as well and let's do the same for our tv so go to add bevel modifier set the segments to three shade smooth by angle or shade smooth okay shade smooth by angle looks good okay so now we are done with the basic shape of our tv units now on top of this we are going to add some materials some decorative pieces and now let's make some books so let's press shift and right click to add a 3d cursor here and then go to mesh cube and let's just see the dimensions of the uh, real life size of books so let's uh, search for book dimensions in centimeters and for the hardcover it's 13 3 4 20 96 okay so press n so 13.24 and 20 and 96 okay so uh, guys this is the actual size of our book <laughs> you can see that it is very thick so the thickness of the book is your choice but i will just make it really standard really standard one like this okay and let's just rotate it on the z axis something like this and give it a very um, uh, random rotation so it will feel very natural so let's make it a little more thick like this and let's make it a hard core for it so add let's take this loop cut tool and add two loop cuts and scale it on the z axis like like this okay so we we will keep some space for the hard cover and let's again add a loop cut on this side like like this okay so now and now let's select these three faces and now press alt e to extrude and extrude along normals and you can hold down shift to Mm, very smooth or either it will go like this and if you hold down shift it will go very uh, slowly so something like this okay and let's just turn on cavity and let's just duplicate this book and make make a stack of it four 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 five and i recommend having some variation in the uh, length and the thickness of the book so like something like this right so you know in the real world not everything is very um <laughs> what can i say everything is uh, very random if you <laughs> if you understand what i'm saying so let's select this one and let's move like this this one like this and this one like this okay and let's just rotate them 
like this, like this. Oh, sorry, <laughs> on the Z axis, like this, and like this. Okay, okay, that's too much exaggerated. Let's just do it way, keep it very subtle. Okay, like that. Let's just duplicate this book on this side, and uh, they will be, um, you know, resting, resting on this side. So let's select this bottom one, Shift T to duplicate and let's clear all rotation like this and let's rx90 and rz90 like this and let's make it a little bit thick and make it rest on this side okay now let's duplicate it make it a little smaller and a little thicker so scaling it on the z local axis this okay now you can see we have some books in our shelves okay so now let's create some decorative vases so let's go to google for some references and let's search for decorative vases and uh, let's find some modern and simple ones decorative vases okay let's see which one looks great okay so i like this one so let's right click and save image as and now in blender let's go to add image reference and let's add in that image okay so now it's tilted so again set the x and y to 0 and x to 90. now let's scale this image down and let's just um, let's turn on turn off snapping for now and let's just align it and let's just move it right here and they are looking very big so let's scale them down until they make a sensible size okay i guess this this size this size looks great so let's add in a circle so go to add mesh and circle and let's scale it down uh, until it matches the radius of the pot of the vase okay like that now let's go to edit mode and let's press a to select all uh, make sure that you are on edge select mode and then press e and z to extrude on the z axis so let's just trace one side of the border because this image is in perspective and we are doing the tracing in orthographic view so anyways so let's just extrude it extrude and scale let's just scale it a little bit more like this okay so extrude scale extrude and again extrude a little bit and scale and now let's press extrude again and let's just keep it like this okay okay so it's looking great so go to object mode and let's add in a solidify modifier and press ctrl to apply the scale and let's just decrease the thickness something like this instead of adding the solidify modifier let's just go to edit mode and press a to select all and go to face select mode and press alt e to extrude along normals and let's just give it some thickness from the inside like this and then let's select the corner edges and let let's just bevel them a little bit with two segments okay so it's smooth okay so now it's looking great and if you press the forward slash oh sorry and if you press the forward slash you can isolate the object and you can see it has holes inside it so let's just fill that so go to edit mode and select these edges by holding down alt and then press f to fill that and let's shade smooth again okay so now it looks great right now let's bevel these edges as well so ctrl b bevel okay and shade smooth again okay perfect so now i am going to repeat this process for the rest of the vases okay so now you can see i have created these three vases on the tabletop and these two vases in the shelf which are going to give it a very different look and now you can see that our table is pretty much done now it's time for texturing 
okay so the modeling part of our table is done and now it's time for texturing so let's go to shading mode and let's uh, first make the plastic material of the tv so let's add in a new material and let's call it tv plastic tv plastic okay okay sorry tv plastic and let's change the render engine from ev to cycles and device from gpu cpu to gpu if you have one and i have the rtx 3060 which has 12 gigs of vram let's turn on rendered view and you can see that is it is dark here so you click this drop down and turn off scene world and now you can see that uh, we can use different hdris or as per our needs any one of them so i will select this one which looks quite good and let's uh, turn down the world opacity and let's turn on denoising okay so now with our tv selected let's uh, make the tv plastic material so for the roughness i will set that to 0.3 and i will change the base color to black and do not keep it completely black because uh, no object in this world is completely black so it should be uh, black but it should be not exactly black and move it just a little bit but not complete zero like this one okay and another specular turn the ior level to all the way up and now you can see that it looks like plastic right now for the screen let's go to edit mode so let's first turn on overlays and let's go to edit mode and let's select these three faces and then go to material add in a new material and let's hit assign and create a new material called tv screen and let's go to object mode and set the base color to black and remember not exactly black and set the roughness to 0.05 you know screens are used to look reflective and make it a little bit metallic like 0.3 and under coat set increase the weight to something like 0.3 or 0.5 and what this coat value does is that it adds an extra layer of coating on top of the material and this is how the actual tv screens are made too so let's set that to 0.3 and roughness to 0.05 okay so now you can see that our uh, screen looks very real and also our plastic material now let's texture our vases so let's select this vase and for some reason uh, and for some reason you, you will find this that the rendered view is very blur so if you have the same issue you can go to a render settings and under performance go to viewport and under pixel size set that from automatic to 1x and now you can see that we are getting pretty clear results okay so this is just for viewport it's not for the final render so let's select our vase and let's create a vase material for it so so considering that it is made out of porcelain or ceramic so let's make it orange and turn the saturation all the way down to 0.15 0.15 okay so it's just a little orange and then let's add a bump node so press f3 to search and search for bump and plug it into the normal and then add in a noise texture so noise texture and plug the factor into the height and then with the noise texture selected make sure you have the node wrangler add-on turn on and if you don't then go to preferences and under add-ons search for node wrangler and turn it on okay then with the noise texture selected press ctrl t and you will get the mapping nodes and then plug the object into the vector instead of generated and this object node will create a uniform noise across our mesh so set the scale to 50 and detail it all the way up and increase the roughness all the way up too and let's take a close look at our material and you can see that uh, we have some minute details on on our waist so let's decrease its strength so set that to 0.2 and in the viewport we can't see all the details because if you go to the render settings you can see that the no noise threshold is set to 0.1 uh, which is really high so set that to 0 0.01 and reducing the noise threshold will reveal more details and in short the higher the value the lesser the details the lower the value the more details i don't know if you can see it or not but i can see these minor details so for me a value of 0.2 is really great or i can set that to 0.3 i will stick with the 0.3 value since this uh, material is procedural we can just copy it to the other ones so base 01 and base 01 and since this is a procedural material we do not even have to uv unwrap them so they are looking great and for these uh, vases i think i'm gonna make them glass so let's make them glass vase and set the roughness to 
and under transmission set the weight to 1 and now you can see that it looks like glass and let's change the base color to blue so this is very much blue so let's decrease the saturation to something like 0.4 okay so it is looking great so let's copy the same one here okay now they are looking really great now let's texture our tv table so let's go to look demo mode again and let's select our tv table and for the textures i will be using ambient cg so go to materials and let's search for wood and so for the drawers i will be using this wood 049 so download a 2k texture of it and for the and for the table i will be using and for the table i will be using this wood 006 so download a 2k texture of it as well so select our tv table and add a new material and call it tv table and then press ctrl shift t so select the color do not select the normal dx select normal gl and the roughness and now you can see that we have our wooden material but you can easily see that it has not been mapped correctly so go to edit mode press a to select all and go to uv smart tv project and now it is mapped correctly so let's increase its scale so let's set that to 5 so now i want this wood to look white so let's just delete this base color and now you can see that we have a white wood but with the details but with the normal details of the wood as you can see right here and let's make it a little darker so it should not be complete white and uh, something like 0 0.5 0 0.6 okay so 0.6 looks great and now for the drawers let's add in a new material for drawer and press ctrl shift t again and let's select these textures so color uh, normal gl and roughness and let's go to edit mode uv smart tv project and you can see the grains of the wood are vertical right now so i want them to be horizontal so let's change the rotation of the z axis to 90 and now we have it and let's change the scale to 3 and let's do the same for this one and also you do it mode uv smart tv project and there we go I think the scale is a little bit too much so let's set that to 2 and same for this one set that to 2 okay so now for the legs let's add the same drawer material to the legs so drawer and let's also smarty project them as well it is looking really really great right now okay so now the only thing which is left is the texturing of the books so for that let's go to google to search for book covers okay so on google let's search for book covers cover and let's go to images and let's see if we can get uh, many covers in a single image something like something like this i was talking about and if you find these images like this it will be very good and here let's select a book so let's go to look demo mode first and let's select this book and click new and rename it as book cover and then select the principal bsdf and press ctrl t and it will add in a single texture and then go to open and open the image you have just downloaded so let's select this image and with the book selected go to uv editing tab and press the period key to zoom in numpad period key to zoom in and let's select this top face and press a here in the image editor to select all the vertices go to loop demo mode and then you can rotate this face so something like something like this get it on the y-axis and on the x-axis a little bit okay so you can see that uh, we have this cover on our book and now we what we can do is select the faces on which there will be pages so one two and three like this and then press ctrl r to invert the selection and then here go to this uv select mode and select these uvs and then press g to move them and move them onto the cover wherever you want something like this so since these faces will not be very visible the resolution of the image won't matter 
so let's do same for a different book so let's add in the book cover material and let's go to uv editing and let's just isolate it select the top cover press a to select all and let's give it this cover so let's scale it down on the x-axis and scale on the y-axis like this okay and let's select these three faces one two and three sorry one two and three and then press ctrl i to invert the selection and make sure you are on the uv select mode and then select this uvs and then scale it down onto the cover like that and you can see that it has um, essence of the cover and you can now do the same for every book but first we'll uh, see how we can add some pages so let's select this book and add in a new material called pages and then press ctrl t and first let's search pages texture and go to images and you can uh, download pretty much any image you want let's try this one so right click and save image as and then in blender let's open up that image and i forgot to assign the material so let's select these three faces and let's assign the pages material so let's just rotate it on the 90 degree and let's just increase the scale to 3 3 or I guess 2 will be fine as well and then let's go to rendered view and let's select our book the pages material and let's add in a bump node here so add a bump and plug it into the normal and plug the color into the height and now you can see that we have got some bump on the pages but as you can see it is pretty pretty intense so set that to 0.1 or 0.2 oh, okay so 0.2 looks great and let's do the same process for every book okay so now you can see our tv table is pretty much done but now to add a cherry on top let's go to google and i will show you a pretty good add-on so let's search for blender kit so let's search for blender kit and go to blenderkit.com and you can download this free add-on i also have to update this add-on so let's click download blender kit and download blender kit and when it's get download let's go to blender turn off rendered view right now and go to edit preferences and under add-ons let's click install look at the location where you have installed the add-on okay so let's select this add-on and then click install and now you can see that it has been installed in my blender version and now you will see that it will have a search bar here so you can search anything uh, in this case i want a plant so let's search for plant and now you can see the, we have this much plants but uh, not all of them are free so these blocked ones are paid so go to filter uh, check free first and now you can see these all are free plants so i will add this plant pot big so shift right click here and let's add in this one and now you can see it is pretty huge right now <laughs> so let's select the empty and let's scale it down just a little bit okay okay so now our tv table is done and now what you can do is that you can place this tv unit with a good interior so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do consider subscribing to this channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye